Hello, I'm author Maureen Anderson. Welcome to today's episode of Moments in Black History. I'd like to introduce you to Mary Ellen Pleasant, entrepreneur, activist, and one of the first African-American millionaires. She built a portfolio in the 19th century, making her the equivalent of a billionaire today. Pleasant, born on August 19, 1814, was rumored to be many things. Was she a voodoo priestess? Did she sell children or run a brothel? Maybe, but what I can share with you is that Pleasant was a former slave. Freed at nine years old, she worked as a domestic servant and became a millionaire. Being invisible and working behind the scenes may have given Pleasant the knowledge, the skills, and the drive to start her own business. The Gold Rush Fever around 1849 became Pleasant's ticket when she traveled across the United States and opened a boarding house in San Francisco. Her boarding house served as a place where miners could eat and relax. Pleasant also operated as an underground railroad conductor, but she did more than bring them to safety. She extended herself as sort of an employment agency, arranging jobs for slaves free through the Underground Railway as domestic servants in elite households and help them get their own homes. Called Mammy Pleasant, a name she didn't like much, Pleasant was also known as the mother of human rights in California and the Black City Hall for her contributions to women's causes and the civil rights cases she fought and won in court. Generous with her money, Pleasant gave to causes and individuals she strongly believed in. In an interview, Pleasant admitted to giving activist John Brown $30,000 for his raid on Harper's Valley in 1859. The Pleasant Bell Mansion which was the weekend home she had built in Sonoma Valley, is currently a bed and breakfast called Belting Ranch. And if you're ever in San Francisco, visit the Mary Ellen Pleasant Memorial Park and see the plaque placed in her honor by the San Francisco African American Historical and Cultural Society. Did you know, Pleasant even left behind recipes for us to enjoy. And I don't know about you, but I plan to try a few, especially her molasses sponge cake. Mary Ellen Pleasant, the life you live and the rich legacy you left is priceless. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Black history. Please remember to click the button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click thumbs up if you like this episode. Ciao for now.